Fantastic. Right. So we are going to talk about, as I said before, how to use a verb with ed and without ed. So let's take a look at this. Okay. So I need to give you the form first. Like, how does it come up in the sentence? Okay. How? What does it look like? So subject plus verb plus whatever extra information that we need there. So when we're focusing on verb here, we need the subject to do the action. So a subject example would be I. I agree. And I've got my chopstick here. I is a subject. Verb is agree. And that is a complete sentence sometimes. Okay, that can be a complete sentence and we're done. So you can see that a verb is very important in a sentence. Okay. Or it could be we have a subject like you are listening. Now there are two verbs here. Okay. So verbs in a sentence, there can be more than one. And what we're going to be learning in terms of verb is just a simple verb using ed or without ed. So these are, this is a more complicated uh, uh, explanation, which we're not going to cover today, but this is just an example. Okay? All right, so subject plus verb plus additional information in the sentence. All right, so this is what we are uh, going to focus on, which is verb. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the first um, point here. How to use the ed verb? How to use the ed verb? So, because we're talking about verbs, either the ed version or the non-ed version, let's go to the simple way of how to use the ed verb. So, basically, ed verb shows that the action has ended. What do we mean by ended? It ended yesterday, or it ended just now, or it was last night, or last year, or whatever that is not going, happening right now. That is what we mean, and that's when we use the ed verb. Okay? So the action has ended. So for example, yesterday, yesterday, I called my client. Now can you guys take a look at where is the verb there? Okay, where's the verb? Now, I've underlined it anyway, you can see. Because I want it to be interactive, so I know. I'm also looking at the comments, okay? I called my clients, because I'm talking about yesterday, so the verb here must be the ed form. It cannot be yesterday I called my clients. No, we want the ed version of that verb. For this one, this morning I prepared a healthy breakfast. I prepared with the ed, not I prepare. Because I prepared, it was done this morning. So even though it looks really, really simple, a lot of students make this mistake. They're a bit careless in that sense because they don't know when to put ED and when not to ED. So you guys take note of this if you tend to make this mistake, especially in your writing. Okay? Now, um, I want you guys to answer, what did you do this morning? And I want you to give me a verb, the ED version. What did you do this morning? Okay? So let's take a look. Okay, I'm seeing uh, Siti Zubaida, uh, yeah, called, yes, that's right, Nadia Siti, correct, right? What did you guys do this morning? Use the verb with the ED. So let's have a bit more interaction. And I'm not sure you guys are welcome to also offer your ED verbs. Okay. Hi, hi, Achet Saliza, okay. Oh, as we know. <laughs> You look different today, is it Dutch? Oh, I will not comment on anything Dutch right now. I know it's controversial right now, so I will not comment on any brand. Okay. Oh, Irfan Hasif, can we say that um, afterwards? That uh, Irfan Hasif, you're my form teacher. I remember that. How would you explain the difference between I already ate and I already have eaten? Uh, the thing is, even um, I actually teach this in another class that we did, I think, in February. For members monthly students so this is not the uh, issue today all right because that is the perfect tense which we're not going to cover today so if fun okay all right okay great city zubaida i reviewed a proposal morning great i reviewed a proposal this morning uh, ed there great oh okay i went to the market this morning well, I want the ed verb. So went is an irregular verb. So it's not under ed verb. Okay? 
It's a great try, yeah, great. Mm, okay, I prepared body chanai this morning for breakfast. Great. So we don't want I have prepared because that would be in the present. Uh, that would be in the present perfect tense. But we're not doing anything on perfect tenses today. Perfect tenses means it has, you have to have have or had. So we're not doing anything on have, okay? But it is correct though, Sheila Jalil, yeah? Um, okay, this morning I cooked for breakfast. Great. Um, I opened a corn can, not just me, okay? Oh, fantastic. I prepared nasi goreng, Sarah, Saleh, great, yep. Okay, so fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay, so you get it, right? I'm talking about uh, seeing the distinction between ED and non-ED. And we're just focusing on the simple past tense and the base form. So now, I want to talk about how to use the verb in the base form. Many ways, but I just want to focus on five ways. So we talked about using ED, which is in the past. But now we want to talk about using the verb in the base form. And there are several ways, okay? So, the first is... Habit. For example, a daily routine. Okay, I go to work, I teach English, and then I prepare English lessons. So these these examples of a habit or a daily routine. Okay, so even though I gave you examples like go and teach, it's not. Uh, it doesn't have the ed version, but we're focusing on. Uh, prepare which is here okay prepare I prepare English lessons all right hold on guys because I need to see if there are any for me okay oh all right somebody said that the sound is a bit low okay I wonder why what's going on maybe technology is not working for me today but the microphone is working I hope it's okay we're just gonna go on anyway Okay, um, all right. Okay, so this is a daily or habit habit that you, you do. And when you talk about something that you do every day, you would use the non-ED version. Okay, so I have a daily routine. So I go to work, I prepare English lessons, I watch TV. What do you guys do as a daily routine? What do you guys do? Oh, I eat rice, great, yep, okay, instead of I ate rice, I eat rice every day, yep, that's right, this is the correct, correct uh, verb form that we're using, any more examples of a habit or daily routine that you guys do, okay, so just wait for a bit more, okay, any more, is the, okay, all right, if there are no examples, then let's go to forming a sentence with did not. Okay. Now, the second way of using the verb without the ed is when you form a negative sentence with did not. So take a look at this one. This morning, okay, this morning is the past, correct? This morning, I did not prepare a healthy breakfast. Now, this is the past. This is the past this morning. Because I used did not here, you have to use the verb without the ed form. So this morning, I did not prepare a healthy breakfast. All right? Are you guys clear? Yeah? When you're using did not, so a lot of my advanced students also make this mistake. They make this mistake of, because they think it's in the past tense, it is the past, so they would put the D here when the past is already indicated in the word did and did not. Okay? So, can you give me a negative sentence with did not? And let me check your verbs. Let me check your verbs. And you need to use your base form. Okay. So, did not. So, Aisha, even though she gave a positive one, I practice yoga every morning. What if you change that into did not? Right? So the answer would be, I did not practice yoga. I did not practice yoga this morning. 
I didn't, okay? Okay? So when you use do not, be very careful because we use base form. Let's see some more examples. Hamid Safari, um, this morning I did not eat breakfast. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Did not eat breakfast. So we do not say this morning I did not eat breakfast. I did not eat breakfast. So that's the base form as well. Any other verbs? Siti Zubaida, I did not wash my hair yesterday. Okay, examples. Yesterday, I did not. Okay, nor Jasmine there. Yesterday, I did not wash any clothes. Right. Uh, what I can see is Jasmine, what you did just now is W A S H E D. So the correction would be yesterday, I did not. W A S H without E D. Because we're talking about coming back to the base form when you're using did not. All right, is that clear, uh, Jasmine? Okay, I'm not a bit for you. Just there, did not wash any clothes. Okay. Ifan Hasib, I did not finish the assignments. Okay, true story. Right, okay, thank you for that. All right, so exactly, I did not finish. So it's not, I did not finish. So correct there, Ifan Hasib. Oh, Aisha, oops. She's got a confession. I did not shower this morning. I did not shower this morning. That's her, okay, not me. Right, anymore? I did not read my email this morning. Okay, great. I did not read my clothes. Great. Okay. Hi there. Salam alaikum. Good. Okay. This morning I did not practice piano. Ifan Siti Rosmawati. Fantastic. I used to play piano as well, but I had to stop for classes. And um, it was interesting though. It was very interesting. Okay. I did not at home. All right. I did not speak this morning. Said Amna, not true story. Okay, a confession <laughs> again. Yeah, great. Okay. Okay, I did not cook for lunch. Okay, great. You're getting it now. You're getting it. That's the second way of coming back to the base form. We use did not. Okay. So, advanced learners make the mistake. But that mistake in actually. Okay. Now the third way. When the verb is part of the to infinitive. Now, don't be scared with this. What is this infinitive thing? It just means that it's got to plus the base verb. Okay, to infinitive. So it looks like this to and then a verb, the base form verb. Okay, study this. I want, okay, this is a verb, yes. I want is a verb. And then I want to learn English. This is the infinitive form because it has to and then it has verb. So this is the base form again. We do not say I want to learn English or I want to learn English. I want to learning English. No, no to. When we have to, we have the base form verb. Okay, I want to learn English. So remember that to plus the base form verb. So that's the third way. Oh, what about you guys try? Just give, I just want to see anything. I want to. Can you guys try an example of I want to? I want to. I want to what? Let's see. One or two examples. Okay. Oh, Baby yourself. True story or not true story? I want to, okay, this is from Achit Saliza. I want to cook asam pedas. Yay, oh, so delicious. Great, okay, I want to cook asam pedas. Correct. So you don't say, I want to cook asam pedas. Yes, correct. To go to the form. Any other any examples? Aisha is doing this summary. I want to walk into surgery room. Oh, Nora Jasmine, are you a doctor? Or hope you're not a patient. You are. There, it's not serious. Okay, I want to walk to the surgery room, or maybe you're going there right now. Okay, okay. to eat McDonald's, Nadia Anis. Wow, from Asabadas to McDonald's. Okay, I can see that, guys. Okay, I want to go to the cinema. Yeah, oh god, I miss that. I miss going to the cinema. I want to go to the supermarket. Yes, I want to go. So, I want to go. I want to go in. I want to eat ice cream. 
stream. I want to watch Korean drama, City Zwider. Okay. I want to end the suffering. Nora Smira quarantine. Hey, yeah, I know. I mean, um, I want to learn English with you. Okay. I want to meet my family. Nora Dila Kasim. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, so many rules. Good. You're getting the picture. So, that's about how to use the base form verb. To use form verb. All right. Let's add ed. We do not add ing. All right. Now, let's take a look at before, the fourth way. When you use these models, okay, you have these. You, got, you left this in high school. You probably forgot this, but these are just examples, okay? Can, could, may, might, will, would, should, and must. There are others, but I'm just listing out some of the, co the common ones. So, when we use models, Right, these words here, these verbs here. The next verb is in the base form. So what those mean? Okay, it shows ability, permission, possibility, or necessity. Right. So I'll I'll go through some examples. I'll go through some examples. And the first example I want to show you. I want to I want to give you the word uh, can. What happens when we have can in the sentence? So. C A N. Okay, look at this one. Several examples there. Okay. She can speak English. Odover. That means it's going to affect the verb next to it. So it is not she can speak English. It's not she can spoke English. Nor is it. King English. Okay? So we have these, what we call the can. This is a model, right? And without it, without this, this, without this, it would be she speaks English. She speaks English without C A N. But as soon as we put a model there, this goes back to the root form speak English no matter what no matter the subject we go back to the root form the base form so study that okay so that's what models do it affects what happens to the next verb all right okay so you for example while I look down all right okay okay I will speak a bit louder you know the hook the mic um, when I tested it, it was it was fine but somehow I don't know maybe the internet is not working or something but hopefully you can hear me okay I'll speak louder all right okay so let's take a look at example of this one okay a lot of students um, ask us how to use the models but I want to give you a, a common error that people make let's look at the word may yeah? the model word may so let me, let's say I want to wish you, I want to wish us all well, okay? Look at this one. Because I use may, may God protect us all. May, at the front, God protect us all during this uh, COVID-19 um, you know, situation. What has this done? Right? So it's not may God protects us all, wrong, incorrect, or it's not may God protected us all, or protecting. We go back to the root verb. May God protect us all, even though it's a singular um, entity here, all right? May Allah protect us all, not may Allah protects us all. Right. Hopefully that's something new for you because even advanced students make this mistake. And I know, I've noticed that. Because that you didn't notice that may affects the verb that comes afterwards. Okay. Um, I've got several examples, but let me see. I've got some more examples. Let's, let's look at may, okay. 
So, you know when we say, may God protect us all, may God give or gives you blessings. Give or gives, right, let's see. Let me see. Okay, all right. So the answer is, may Allah or may God give you blessings, not may Allah gives you blessings. Because may is affecting the verb afterwards. So we go back to the base. And then when, if somebody, you know, passes, we say, may he rest in peace or may he rests in peace. And this is like a saying, right? Rest in peace. He rests in peace. Right here. Okay. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing okay, very good. Okay. May God give you things. Yes, correct. Correct. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, I'm looking at the comments, looking at your ones as well. Very, okay, I'm going to give you one more, one more how to use may, okay? This is your birthday, the next verb, listen very carefully. May you bring or brought you everything you wish for. May your birthday bring, brings, brought or bringed well, there's no such thing as bringed so let's just cancel that all together may your birthday bring you everything you wish for bring brings or brought okay let's look at comments okay the correct answer is, may your birthday bring you everything. Anyone's birthday in April? Okay, my birthday and Amna's birthday. In, uh, it was in March. Founders of my English Matthew. So we share a birthday in March. Okay. I'm looking at the answers. Bring. Okay. May you shine or shines wherever you go. Sunshine or shines. There you go. One more. Just okay, the answer is may the sun shine wherever you go. Not may the sun shines wherever you go. No. It has to go back to the base form. Okay, and from Nora Asmira, Madam, will the modal verbs change if we want to use it in the past tense? Um, no. Nora Asmira, I have some examples, so I have things in context. Come back to that one. If you can think of an example, probably catch yourself or, or do, and then just do it correctly. Some context, what you need. Okay. Okay. The voice might be breaking the microphone. Yeah, that happens because of the internet. But hopefully you can see, the important thing is you can see this very clearly, my, my, my notes. Okay. Right. Okay. Now, the fifth one. The fifth one is using the base of men giving commands or instructions. This is like a command or instruction. Do not disturb. So it's not do not disturbs or do not disturbed. So it's not the ed, it's not the s, we go back to the base form. Here's another one. Please support this movement. So it's not please supported this movement. So when you're giving commands, instructions, we go back to the base form. And I've got an interesting, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at this one. This is like what's going on right now when um, we have people, we have nurses, we respect our nurses and doctors who are working right now and they are asking us to do something. What do you think they're asking us to do? This is what they wrote, right? During this movement control order, 
some doctors and nurses wrote this and posted it on Facebook to tell us, they're telling us, I work for you, you stay at home for us. So the verb here is stay. This is giving a command or giving a plea or giving a suggestion. I stay at work for you, you stay at home for us. So, and then they put hashtag stay home and duduk rumah. Okay? So, this is a command that they're asking us to do, and we respect it, inshallah. And I just want to shout out to all our um, you know, doctors, nurses, health and pharmacy, those who are working in the bank, in the broadcasting, in the postal service, the food delivery, the fire rescue department, the police. Those who are in the front line, the frontliners, what they're doing is amazing. They are courageous and we support them. We try our best. We will do our best to listen and spread the message that we will stay at home while you stay at work. Okay? Right. Okay. So let's look at how the base form is also used. All right? The base form is also used. If you can, if you can look at examples, headlines in newspapers, headlines in newspapers, and this is from the Edge Market. So I got that. I just googled that. The Edge Markets. Look at this one. This is the verb. Malaysia sees highest daily recovery at 108. So they would use the base form, okay, the present tense form. Malaysia sees. Uh, highest daily recovery at 108 headlines in newspapers and let's take a look at an international headline but this is this is more like a feel good headline we look at positive ones okay let's take a look at from the guardian from the guardian a listers yeah a listers lend talents to bedtime story initiative during lockdown so this is the verb, this is the headline, and it wouldn't use lended or lending or lens. Okay, um, it would, they would use lend, right? So this, this is what's going on in Hollywood right now. Actors like Reese Witherspoon, Jake Gyllenhaal, Lupita, they're doing this bedtime story um, initiative. They're reading to uh, online, for children to raise money for shelters, for um, meals, and all of that. So th th this is their initiative. This is what the celebrities are doing over there. Okay, 